Hi everyone, I, this is going to be some follow up on the last video about uh, making backgrounds with stamps and also with all kinds of printing and first of all these are the tags that I've done on uh, my last uh, video and I had a lot of uh, comments about how I don't have this kind of background stamps or any kind of stamps so I wanted to clear some uh, uh, stuff I forgot to say this on the video but it doesn't have to be background stamps of course uh, if I have something like this it saves me in the trouble of uh, printing a lot of circles and it's great to have some kind of stamps uh, stamp like that but you don't have to have any uh, of these uh, stamps to make a background and I want to show you what I mean I've picked from my collection of stamps the most boring stamps I have and the, the ones that I haven't used uh, ever like I've got this stamp it, when you buy a set you always have one stamp that you just don't like or don't use don't plan to use this one is a chandelier and I ne never for, uh, thought that I will use it and I've got this arrow and star never used them until today and I will show you I've got this simple uh, triangle stamp uh, I've got this one this is from the cheap store it's supposed to be for uh, kids it's just made from fun foam very boring uh, this is not a uh, super boring but it's a um, it's a specific object like a bicycle and even from something like that you can do a background so I'm moving this aside and I want to show you I've cut again the same size uh, of tags uh, four by eight inches and I want to show you what I've done and we'll continue from there so here is the example of using uh, this arrow I, I've used here three colors of ink pads and I just uh, alternated with the colors and played around with placing the same stamp over and over again and that made this effect any kind of stamp any kind of uh, stuff that makes print if you repeat it you will make a pattern you have a pattern you have a background so that's the example of this now I've got this one again this boring star just repeated uh, it uh, with three colors and made this pattern next in line here is the chandelier that I would never have thought of using this uh, stamp on anything but to make a background it's great and I just used two colors I used black and I used magenta uh, with an ink with ink pads so uh, I'm thinking this would be even great if I will uh, go all around the edges with black and put some very big butterfly here it will be just uh, great so again a very boring and unusual uh, stamp that can be made into a background just by repeating it and making a pattern and here is the next uh, example here is the bicycle stamped all over and uh, first I started <laughs> all around and then I stamped in the middle and added just two more stamps a butterfly here repeatedly and this little um, flower in between where I wanted it to be now these are uh, this and uh, I'm flipping this over and showing you this will be the, the <laughs> from here we will continue to making an original page and here we go very boring triangle I start and I here I used acrylics because not everyone have all the colors in ink pads and there are there are ink pads that are not so great so I used acrylic 
a paint and I just used a dark purple and white each time I just added a little bit more white continued stamping all through and this uh, the effect I got and from just one boring stamp I have this lovely background and again it just needs some inking around the edges, a focal point, some saying, and you've got a great tag. Next, this is the back of this. I've continued with the same colors. Again, acrylic paint, and I just took a plastic card, dipped it here. <laughs> you can even see where I've done it. Just dipped it and made a pattern. Anything that you will print and continue <laughs> uh, making a pattern will make a great background. So here we go, another one. Here is an, another print, just some circle I had. I think this was uh, the, in the middle of an embroidery th a thread and I just dipped it in a magenta, then added a little bit of black and continued printing it and making a pattern. And here is the boring kids stamp uh, that I just printed with two colors uh, here are here they are and here is the tag I'm just loving this background I'm don't know why but I'm picturing uh, some pineapple with sunglasses and a straw here as a focal point and that's probably what I'll do so this is it for the tags and all the boring or <laughs> Uh, stamps that you think you don't have what to do with and how to make um, a background from anything and I really mean anything and before I forget Diane I got your happy mail this is beautiful everything is just I can't wait to use it and I'm going to use everything here and yes I recognized the print in the background so thank you we are not connected on facebook so i couldn't uh, send you a message so i'm moving this aside thank you diane for all the lovely things you've sent me before i forget uh, i don't know if i mentioned it but we are in the middle of a few holidays here and my response uh, time to the comments you're leaving me is not so good it's usually not good because of time difference uh, just so you will know if you don't uh, where I am I'm ahead of the US in about uh, approximately eight to nine hours so when you are leaving me a comment uh, I probably uh, already turning into a pumpkin and if we are talking down under you are ahead of me in about nine hours so again and now there are the holidays so it just so I'm always re uh, responding to comments that you leave me it just takes time sorry now uh, we are going back to printing and I'm in the mood for rectangles and I just uh, picked some this is from kids uh, toys it's some kind of condensed uh, foam and it's a rectangle and let's see and I've got again from kids uh, uh, play all kinds of pieces that will give me rectangles and I'm going to print them on my page and I hope to create some interesting background and we'll see what happens I'm thinking I'm, I'm only going to do one page this is one of the books that I'm uh, making into an art journal and my page is already gessoed not that it had to be just I prepared in advance uh, some uh, pages with gesso and I'm going to use one of them and I forgot to bring some acrylic paints for this uh, page so I'll be back I'm back so I want to start with very subtle colors in the background and I picked this acrylic paint these are art deco I've got here dusty rose sage silver and lavender and I'm just going to put uh, them down here a little bit of each one and 
going to play with rectangles in the background anything that can make a print use it you can uh, even take a an eraser and do a print it really doesn't matter I'm starting just to put some paint on this uh, foam block and I don't know we'll see what happens not a very great print but again this is just building a background and it's the silver so it's really is uh, hardly noticeable let's move to the sage maybe I will get something better here we go and this is quite random what I'm doing here and let's see I'm going to uh, make a bigger rectangle I don't care if the print is not great again this is building a background <laughs> I keep repeating myself boring okay moving on to another a uh, color and as you can see I'm changing the directionality I'm trying to create something interesting but there is no rules to it and let's try again for the bigger rectangle this and you can overlap just do what you feel and as I'm smearing the paint it's uh, also um, mixing now I've got some a uh, metallic a lavender here because I've put it, the silver on top of the lavender so it's beginning to be very interesting here don't know how much you can see all the variations I don't know if I want to uh, cover the whole uh, page or leave some uh, white haven't decided yet I'm still just uh, playing Even uh, the second print uh, is interesting. Second and third. Mm, I'm going to let it dry and I'll move on to the next layer once it's dry. I'll be back. I'm back so uh, not completely uh, dry I've got here two more colors this is grayish uh, violet and this is some kind of olive 
green and I'm keeping it in the same uh, color range, uh, grayish uh, colors and let's see if I can do some print with this uh, block. Yeah, not a great print but nonetheless another element to my page. I'm flattening it so it would be e a little bit easier. Okay, moving to another one. Let's see. Maybe this one. So now I'm moving to a, a little bit darker color. Let's hope it will work. Okay. Playing. Completely and utterly playing with paint and shapes and adding interest and I need more paint it doesn't take too well let's see maybe just yeah like this I don't know why but it doesn't print so well So again, I'm going to let this dry before I continue, and I'll be back. I'm back, and I still want to stamp more, and I want to lighten uh, this page. I like that it's subtle, that it's grayish colors, but <laughs> not not so much. So I'm uh, going to. I've got this stamp again, some kind of rectangles or a net. Or whatever and I'm just going to randomly stamp it and I hope the magenta will uh, I don't know uh, revive <laughs> this page and add just a little bit more interest and I'm thinking that I want all this uh, to be pushed back a little bit in uh, a little bit back so my focal point will be more noticeable and so I'll let this uh, I think I'll let this dry and then go over it with the little gesso so it will everything will be pushed back let's see or nope I want to keep my uh, background so <laughs> decisions this decisions this is my focal point and uh, it's a stamp that I just got from Diane and I really want to use it here so let's see how can I make it pop now I'll go over this page with a little bit of diluted gesso and then we continue. I'll be back. I'm back and let's hope I'm not going to ruin everything because I really like this beginning of a background and I've got here gesso with water and I want to go very lightly over uh, the page and push it back a little bit because I'm concerned that my focal point won't be so noticeable with all this interest 
and I'm going very gently and if I will feel that it's not enough then I'll add but it's better to go lightly than be sorry afterwards you can't remove it okay just a little bit more here yeah so this needs to dry again someone please invent a machine that will dry this stuff quickly <laughs> i'll be back I'm back and I want more color and <laughs> I'm not uh, not sure where this page is going and I've got uh, two of my um, uh, homemade sprays these are a few drops of uh, gel food coloring with water and let's see what happens I want it like this and I already got here a baby wipe in case it's just too much so I'm dabbing it a little bit yeah and I don't really like this pink so I'm going over it and now it's starting to take more shape to my, li to my liking and I'll give it again a blast uh, from my heat tool and I'll be back I'm back and let's hope now it will work I want my uh, focal uh, image uh, to put now and I'm using Momento Tuxedo Black and let's hope it will be noticeable with all this in the background and where do I want it let's stamp it here and I'm putting pressure I do want it to print well and I've got a little bit of texture from the acrylic paint that I've put very generously when I I've done the stamping in the background yeah and I want more of this I don't know yeah again putting pressure if you've got texture on your page and it's really important to you to have a great print uh, do the print on tissue paper or the white layers of paper napkin and then glue it to the page yeah so I think I'm done with this stamp and I have more stamps in this kit that I want to uh, use I think this one is remember the moments in between uh, and this is just too small for me to read <laughs> but I don't care I want it on my page so here we go. Whoops. It's really hard to stamp in a book <laughs> with all this texture in the background. Not a great print, but I like. Hi, 
Hi, I'm back and my phone just quit on me uh, before I uh, finished the page and only when I finished I noticed that it's not recording but what I've done uh, after gessoing uh, over the background so to push it back and I've used the diluted gesso I stamped I've used this uh, stamp set that I got from Diane and I've stamped this uh, three times and used this uh, saying remember the moments in between in several places and used the butterfly also to stamp here and then I just took my Stabilo all went over the edges and activated it with water so I will have a nice dark edges and this is it that's my page now <laughs> I hope you will try uh, to use uh, whatever stamps you have and any kind of stuff you have at home that can make a print and let yourself play with the colors with the prints with the backgrounds and have fun so this is it uh, I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> this uh, video Thank you for watching, thank you for leaving me comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.